We have a ton of sick kids. <gasps> Mario. Yeah, yeah! There's no boots or pants. Like this is all that came with it. No! Is this your very first time carving a pumpkin? Yeah. Sick kids in our house. We've had temperatures above 103, which is scary. 102 has been kind of regular. We have the flu. This is day three for you, right? So you're, hopefully you're, you're starting to get better. better. Getting better. And then these three got sick. Last night. Just barely. Last night. You cough so much that you just like, it like swollen <laughs> your vocal cords mm -hmm. and you like, you know, sore throat. Oh, everyone coughs. <laughs> like a chorus. It's <laughs> contagious. This is our board right now for keeping track of medications, just to make sure that we, you know, don't overdose on anything. What's our family costume theme? Nintendo! Nintendo! And you are gonna be? Mario. Mario. Elise is gonna be? Luigi. Luigi. Peach. Princess Peach. Zelda. Princess Zelda. So Kendra is gonna be Toad and I am Bowser, the big bad guy. Is Sunny gonna be having an outfit? So we actually looked up a Yoshi costume for him. Can you imagine a cute little Yoshi one? But we couldn't find one that worked. It works. I actually think it fits. It has padding on my belly. It makes me look fat. Well, that's what Mario, Mario isn't skinny. <laughs> <laughs> it looks natural. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna put the mustache on right now, but let's see how the hat fits. <laughs> Wait, I need to see a picture. Mario. Doesn't he go like this? Yeah, something like that. Then... Mario. <laughs> Wait. Mario. Here's the link. It might be a little too mini of a skirt. All right, here's Princess Peach. <laughs> Janae's feeling like it is too big for her. I agree. I think they forgot to mention that the toy sword pants and boots not included. <laughs> is that real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no boots or pants. Like this is all that came with it? Okay, and that is why you order early. Just in case there's no boots or pants. All right. Then it's not to color. Okay, I think we finally got Zelda. Okay. Figure it out. All right, we got the <laughs> Zelda. We got the ears on. Here's my Bowser costume. Here's Elise's Super Mario Luigi costume. There were some cute Mario and Luigi costumes mm -hmm. for girls. Are you okay with playing a boy character? Oh yeah, Luigi is totally different. Like if they have girl costumes for Luigi. It works. Yeah, I have thick fingers. So the gloves aren't working? Well, the dress looks cute. Let me put on the mustache. All right, is it gonna work? Yes, it will. Luigi. Uh, uh, you look like Bowser. <sighs> I need to smooth out my mustache. So we discovered a trail of ants on the backsplash of our kitchen, but we're actually kind of inspired by them. They're all working together. Look at that teamwork. I mean, this is defying gravity. That thing is huge like compared at, to any of them. What is it? At any time it can fall. I think it's a piece of French toast. So we've actually been having an ant problem at our house. We've tried spraying some natural things. We tried having a bug guy come out. It's just something we are currently working with. Um, we've deep cleaned a lot of areas, but I think just in like the moisture of after the hurricane, all the bugs have tried to retreat into the homes. And now it's a fight to say, no, go live back outside. So ants are something we're working on. But as I was going up to do the dishes and I saw those ants there, I kind of, I don't know if I even want to kill them. Like, they're just, they're working so hard. I don't want to defeat them. What the? What? Do you see what the ants are doing? They're carrying Whoa! Something. They're carrying it up the wall. How did they even go That is so them? impressive. What if our family, what if our family could have teamwork like this? I'm, ex I'm interested in this transition here. We're gonna go lift a house, guys. Like, they are fighting gravity. That whole thing should fall. What are they gonna do here? The 
going on the edge. Oh, there's a guy like just hanging out down there. You're making it heavier. Can they do it? What? <laughs> wow. This is gross. This is fascinating. Somebody's the mastermind behind this. Hey guys, I found something. Come over here. Get off of it. We need you underneath it, lifting. Oh, it almost fell. Thinking about how hard it is for us to move something up the stairs, like when you're moving something. Like moving a piano. Except completely yeah. vertical. Except putting it up low. That's so impressive. What are the pumpkins for? Are they gonna rally? It's time to carve our pumpkin. Laura was so excited, she picked this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to name it, I just called it Uncle Georgie because I really wanted it. Yeah, that's the most obvious name. I have a name for mine. What's yours name? Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Why? Caleb wanted <laughs> the absolute giant pumpkin. Why'd you name it Big Daddy? <laughs> Give it a turn. It has a... So are you gonna put this on the front or on yeah, the back? Yeah, so look, it has kind of... I'm just gonna have like the mouth here and then it's gonna be like a... It's gonna be kind of cool, I think. Lacey, how are you feeling about your pumpkin? I like it. It's like a little stout pumpkin. A little stout. And it has a very interesting back oh, <laughs> For safety purposes, Jeremy is carving the tops out of the pumpkins. <laughs> Well, at least the children are safe. Best of luck to you. Just watch your thumb. Mm -hmm. oh, there it is. Ewy gooey pumpkin guts. So Isaac's never been a fan of the pumpkin innards. How are you feeling this year? I haven't changed. I haven't changed. I don't want to use my hands. You don't want to use your hands? It's kind of gross on that part with the hands. Yeah, do you want to get a scraper? Okay, Caleb wanted to cut the top off of his own pumpkin. It's harder than you think. It is. That's true of a lot of things in life. Like life. Life is harder than you think. Deep thoughts by Caleb. I'm waiting patiently. Would you like me to help you? Yes. Okay. Oh, pumpkin guts. She's got a scraper. She's ready to go. That was fun. <laughs> pumpkin guts are flying. It's a pumpkin massacre. Lisi, on the other hand, has always enjoyed the pumpkin gut experience. Janae waited for daddy's help, the master. Stay away, I don't want to be by the guts or the nut, so I'm just going to be in the middle. <laughs> As Janae tries to stay away from the guts on this side and the knife on this side. Oh, she did it! <laughs> Yours has a very strong gutty innards. Ooh, smells pretty cool. Will we wash our hands if we use your hands? Yeah, if you use your hands, we'll just wash your hands, no problem. Ooh, there it is. Now touch it. <laughs> Clean He's it getting up. braver. He's getting braver. <laughs> I think having Sunny has really opened him up to more Ooh. smells. Good job scraping it out. Oh. Wait, come on, is there a thing called a pumpkin artist? Like where you yeah. know it's pumpkin artist? Probably. Back when I was working as a lawyer, our law firm represented a pumpkin artist YouTuber. What? Let's yeah. check it what? out. There's pumpkin artist YouTubers. I know it. He did some of the most amazing pumpkin art I had ever seen. It was incredible. Isaac is trying the upside down approach. Ah. We're getting some seed all over. <laughs> Beautiful, clean pumpkin. So I've always been scared of using my hands, but now I figured out that just using it doesn't mean that it can be gross for the whole entire life. That's smart. You're a smart girl. Yeah. I'll be over there to help you in just a second. Do you want mommy to help you? You need a better tool. I'm gonna try to do it myself. I'm a big girl now. You are a big girl now. Yeah, but. Jeremy. But I did help other big kids too, Janae. Janae is our baby, but she is totally a big girl. <gasps> They're doing it! They're doing it! Oh, look at them all tugging. They're not gonna be able to fit it in. I know. 
then just oh, they decided. Right. They decided this oh, isn't going to work. They're retreating. Down. They're retreating. They're trying a different angle. There's one that's on top of it. I wonder. There. What are? What are those rolls? They're trying to bite away so it gets smaller. No! no! Elise and I are both sitting here watching this and we're like, oh, we just want to help them. Like, we're these giants. We could just come in and like, where do you want your crumb? But I'm also torn, like, the ants shouldn't be in my house and I kind of want to destroy them. But I admire them so much now. I mean, this is their third or fourth attempt trying to get this crumb up there. We're back. They're still trying. But it's not gonna fit through it there. It looks smaller. I think people have, the ants have taken pieces off and put it, put it through. Yeah. The so ants cool. continue on trying to figure out how to get this. It's smaller. I don't know if I'm gonna go for a face. I'm feeling more like modern art. Like Picasso? Yeah. Do you guys remember the J House? I was Wait, just thinking about but it, that. But it wasn't a pumpkin and it wasn't a cantaloupe, it was a honeydew. Oh no, he did. It worked! So there's a pumpkin seed down here. Sunny came up and was just like, not interested. There we go. Isaac just came and said, can you tell what I'm doing yet? If I were to guess right now, I would say a spider. Yeah? Yes. Oh, I can see from the other side. There we go. Nose. Duh. 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 Nice work, buddy. Oh, it's so ah, creepy. It is super creepy. This is cool, Isaac. Thanks, it's the spider web. Yeah, obviously. I can totally tell and what it is. A spider. Where'd you come up with this idea? Um, I wanted to do something unique. And then did you think of it out of your own head? Whose head would it come from? And sometimes it comes out of people's armpits. <laughs> vampire. Ooh. Oh, a vampire. Oh, that is so clever. But I'm not done. Somebody come see this. It's so cute. So Janae was calling the guts the butts? Of the pumpkin. <laughs> That's brilliant. She's realizing that every time she tries to cut in, some of the guts of the pumpkin come out. Do you hear that? It's quiet. No, it's this soft. is the way to get the kids to be quiet. We just have to give them knives to play with. <laughs> These are not knives. They have a not sharp edge. Yeah. And they're able to cut without having any. It's amazing. Edges, it's so phenomenal. I, I don't I don't feel like she's gonna hurt herself. No. I'm done. You're He's done? done? The first to finish. He declared, oh my goodness. That is fantastic. How many years have we carved pumpkins? And I always forget. Candles! Whoa. We do not have candles again. Elise is going for the classic pumpkin. I've never done it like I know, I know. Pumpkin. You are nailing it though. Janae, is this your very first time carving a pumpkin? Yeah. All right, we're checking again on the ants. And it is gone. They have completely removed whatever that yellow thing was. So what this has me thinking about is how easily I could have just not noticed that this was happening. How many amazing, intriguing, curiosity building things are happening in nature all around us and we just don't notice them. Like we were truly entertained by these ants and inspired by them for like 30 to 45 minutes today. And how much of that is going on around us that we're just not noticing too. You're doing a great job. I love come look at it. I love it. Come look at it. Every time I try to help her, she's like, Get away, Dad. <laughs> well, it's a big, it's a big moment for her, carving her own pumpkin. Dad, can you help me? Push it out. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to use mom's finger. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> if it wasn't such a big nose, this wouldn't be a problem. Ooh, there we go. Janae, I love it. Oh, that looks great. I love it. So not everybody was super enthusiastic about doing the pumpkin seeds, but Laura stepped up and she was like, I wanna try it. And I figure this is a once in a year opportunity. So we're gonna do it. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm making it Very good. <laughs> Jeremy just filmed with That's his true. dirty hands. Yeah. He was like filming with it in between his arm Boy, he's been like, Hey Kendra, will you film that? <laughs> I'll do it, babe. I'll film Price it for you. Day to get a good shot. Right. 
Laura and I mixed up some butter and sugar and pumpkin seasoning. Now we're gonna roast it. Mm -hmm. Special thanks to Jeremy for cleaning up the pumpkin. The pumpkin buns. The pumpkin. I think they're getting close. All right, Elise is gonna try the seeds. They good? Just kind of like bread. Tastes like bread. Okay. It does have a cinnamon roll flavoring on here, but the texture is definitely different. I, I, I like the crunch. It's very crispy. So what we've determined is that our children don't like pumpkin seeds, but they do like sugar. You like it? I hate it alone, but the crunchy with the flavor is great. The next day. Still so feeling tired. tired. All right, we're doing some morning chores. Caleb is taking out the trashes from all over the house. Great job, Janae. Perfectimo. All right, you guys ready for the music? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a song by John Denver that I have been listening to a lot lately. I have found that it has made a huge difference in my life. And it's mostly because of the lyrics of this song. It's not like it's so good these days. Like that's the whole song. So I've been listening to this song, Life is So Good. Life is so good these days. That's the words over and over again. And it really changes how I feel. Like I have felt more upbeat, more optimistic, more content. Um, and it's made me really pay attention to what I'm listening to and what I'm watching that it's not bringing me down or making me feel negative feelings. I love this in Puerto Rico, how they have the trash cans in the ground. Did you lose a life too?